What is up guys? Prodigy here. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Thank you very much for watching my video. And a lot of you guys have been asking me a few questions. Number one, Prod, why are you not using shoulder charge? Number two, Prod, why are you not using Juggernaut? And number three, Prod, can you please show us your setup? What are you using for your Titan setup? I'm gonna answer those two questions and show you guys my Titan setup in this video. And off the back, the reason why I took out shoulder charge and Juggernaut is because one, shoulder charge is really slow. Against decent players, anybody over like the 5%, anybody that has a quick reaction time with a shotgun, shoulder charge is literally slow motion and it's more of a risk than than actually a play i mean yes you can shoulder charge people from time to time if you catch them off guard but if it's a 3v3 or if people are calling you out if people don't know exactly where you at shoulder charge is not gonna work for nothing like i'm not saying don't use shoulder charge i'm not saying the perk sucks i'm just saying it's not worth the risk using for me on top of that just like juggernaut shoulder charge they're easy to anticipate those two perks for them to be useful you have to run at the enemy which makes it easy to anticipate your movement where you're going where you're heading to which means i can get ready to aim i can ready to make a play i can ready to throw a grenade it just makes it easy to anticipate the titan's movement so it just it's just harder to make a play when they know exactly where you're going which is towards them on top of that if you guys notice the meta right now whoever has the advantage is whoever is playing like a bitch like literally playing like a bitch people don't like the challenge people get weak and they run away um if people don't feel like they have the advantage in a gunfight they won't challenge you at all um a lot of backpedaling people don't want to like it's just ridiculous the meta the way it is right now it's like i just don't get it it's like i just I just want to say it's full of it's like literally people don't have no balls i came from call of duty i came from gears i came from halo people love to challenge each other on a 1v1 in a team game for example if you're playing control and then out of nowhere you run into a random person by himself um i would love to have that 1v1 battle with this guy by ourselves just like let's go at it man let's see our 1v1 skills in this area by ourselves no here people take one shot i can't win this fight i'm getting the fuck out of here yes it's the gay smart play but it's a game we're playing for fun we're not playing for money we're not playing for tournament we're not I don't get it right now. The way the community has gotten, the way skill-based matching, a uh, skill-based matchmaking has gotten, is really fucking horrible. Like I really don't have fun with PvP. That's why you guys barely see any funny moments anymore. That's why you don't see any more PvP gameplay. It's just nothing but sweaty. It's nothing but tryhards. You can't really have fun. I try to run around. Let me just go ahead and stop myself right there because I can go on forever. I thought this was a video answering two questions and showing you guys my setup, but I kind of went off track but anyways back on track the reason i don't use juggernaut or shoulder charge number one those two perks it's easy to anticipate your movement and it's really easy to make a play upon somebody that you know where they're going again with shoulder charge or juggernaut you kind of have to rush you have to push the enemy and it's easy to anticipate your movement if you're just walking forwards uh second uh, you've seen the meta, everybody's backpedaling, everybody's running away. So actually rushing, pushing, jumping, being in air puts you at a disadvantage because whoever is on the floor, whoever backpedals, whoever throws the grenade, whoever plays it like a bitch is going to win every single time. Um, so pushing is really not uh, a thing to do. Um, and again, as a Titan, your jump is really also easy to anticipate. A lot of people say, oh, your Titan is really fast. You can you can Titan skate everywhere. First of all, not everybody can Titan skate. Even I, that I've been playing almost now for two years and a half, I still can't Titan skate like some of the top people that can Titan skate. So it takes a while to Titan skate. It takes a bit. But again, you have to go in a straight line. For example, if you have blink, you blink, you know, you dodge bullets. You have evade you can roll away you can dodge bullets as a titan you're fast but again you're easy to anticipate if you're running away you're running away in a straight line to go fast you have like normally in a straight line you can go diagonal but again it's still in a straight line so it's easy to anticipate compared to if you had blink you can juke people you can get out of the way so you're kind of in a little bit of a disadvantage anyway in my opinion but anyways um to the subclass enough talking enough complaining I know this kind of went out of hand, I guess, not exactly the way I wanted to. But uh, we are level 400. I know some of you guys are going to say, why are you not 400? I am 400. Hold on. I'll put it on for you guys. 400. There you go. Four. 
happy. But the Titan setup, I mainly use the striker build. This is the striker build that I've been using exactly like this for PvE, PvP, trials. I don't change anything. This is the one I've been using. I did take out the wave because it's just a little bit more fun to use death up from above. I, I still think the wave is better in my opinion. But it's just so much more fun to see your animation, mostly if you're really up in air and just zooming out of somebody. It just, just makes it a little bit more fun to play, I guess. I got the lightning grenades, they're really good. Control jump, of course. Death from above to zoom down. Amplify. Um, some people like to use overload, but I would love to use overload if I have it with this, but I don't really like this. Like aftermath, so I can stay a little bit longer, my grenades um amplify whenever you get your uh you get kills with your melee you get a little bit of super this one is actually pretty good let me see which one it is um it's with stormfest have a chance of immediately resetting it's cool i like this one sometimes but for example with trials um stuff that matters to get your super early this actually comes in handy um but i guess if you're gonna run control you're gonna run around a lot you're gonna see a lot of enemies i guess i would use overload that way you have a chance of melee ability your melee out of them Titan. Um, I'm rocking the full armor recovery build. Um, and that's what's gonna replace right here, Juggernaut and Chola Charge. We'll get into a bit. But again, we have aftershocks. We let the grenades last a lot longer. A lot decent amount longer. And uh, a lot of people are complaining about lightning grenades. I don't know why, man. They're so easy to dodge. They're so easy to just just shoot off one time. Like I don't like literally if you get hit by a lightning grenade, if you're fast enough, you can literally turn around shoot it off just one shot that's all it takes but people just like oh my god where's the grenade they walk forward they walk. it's just like i don't know just because i use them a lot i guess i know how to play against them but finally the last thing we got is unstoppable and this is replacing shoulder charge and juggernaut unstoppable is really cool because it gives you a nice amount of armor not max armor i can build max armor but it gives you a nice amount of armor and i have a nice build for recovery so i heal quickly and i take a decent amount of damage sometimes i'm living stuff that i normally wouldn't live and the cool thing with unstoppable is that it goes really well with death from above when you're doing that whole superman animation sometimes it can take a little bit long the fact that you take more damage in your super it kind of helps with that uh you can build full armor if you want if you want but you kind of lose the recovery I like to heal quickly and kind of go back into battle and still have a decent amount of armor so this is the setup that i rock man hopefully guys did enjoy guys i know there was a little bit of an audio issue because i got a little bit quiet or a little bit low and i apologize for that hopefully we'll make sure that doesn't happen next time other than that guys thank you guys for watching this video sorry for the little rant if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like i'll see you guys later peace